What's up guys? Today we are making some grad gifts. So we've got a mug, uh, a little cap to decorate that up a bit, and uh, we've also got a nice card that is in the style of Cricut Joy cards. Um, I'm going to show you quickly how to use the files. So you can grab the files over at my blog. I will link everything in the description. And um, yeah, you can grab the file from my blog and I'm going to show you how to use these files. So the first one I'm going to show you is the mug. Okay, this is the actual gift. So when you go to upload, upload the image and you're going to want to grab the one that looks like this one. All right, uh, once you've loaded that in, I've got two different types of mugs here. One's a little bit more girly, so I decided to do one a little bit more neutral as well. You can insert that image in. And I've already uh, sized it to fit, so it should be okay. But I'm going to show you um, how we're gonna use one of the templates in Cricut Design Space as well. I'm gonna do the pink one here, so uh, we can get rid of the other one so it's not in our way. So the first thing you're going to do is go to group, ungroup, and then you can delete this one. There we go. So now we've got this one here. Now let's open up our templates. Okay. So here you can search for all different sorts of things. So I'm going to look for a mug. And when you insert that, it even gives you the warning. It says templates are for reference only and will not be saved with your project. Okay. Um, the other thing is, is that the templates will not print or cut. So um, that's good to know. It's only for reference. It's for nothing else. It's just for sizing purposes. So for this mug, um, you'll notice that this is bigger than the mug itself. And that's because we are going to be wrapping it around the mug. So um, I like the size of it here. But let's say you were starting from scratch and you wanted to make your own uh, design on, for your mug, then you can definitely use this template as a guideline so you know how big to make your design. So let's go ahead and now edit it. Okay, so I've left um, room here on the ribbon for a name. So I'm going to ungroup again. That allows me to work with all these different layers. And on this layer here, I'm actually going to do a cutout. So let's add a name. And I'm going to change the font. Uh, I think I'm going to use... Where is it? I'm looking for more of like a font like this. Let's do Baskerville. All right. I'm going to shrink that down. I'm going to make it white so I can see it. Let's move that. Oh. Let's move that there to see if it fits and actually I'm going to change the font again because I don't think this is going to cut out very well. Um, the finer fonts are always going to be tricky <laughs> in how well it cuts. You're, you're not going to really know until it actually cuts out whether or not it cut out properly. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try something else. Let's see. That's even thinner. Uh, yeah, let's do like a thicker font. Okay, so let's go with this one. Cool. So I'm going to use this one. And I want the cutout effect. I'm sorry, I'm going to adjust my uh, letter spacing here. I just want it further apart. There we go. I'm going to zoom in so we can see that better. There we go. Um, but I want the cutout effect. So I want this, these letters to be cut out of my ribbon here. So what I'm going to do is select these two layers and I'm going to slice. And it's going to create three different layers here. So we've got one layer and we've got our sliced layer. So we've got a, the original font here, the sliced, and then the result is the ribbon with this piece sliced out. So we can get rid of these two because we're not going to be using them. 
and there we go we have our design um, so I'm gonna cut this out it's gonna be the black and then the pink and uh, I will show you how we're going to add this onto our, uh, our our mug before we can cut it out uh, what we actually need to do is one more thing we need to attach everything okay Ooh. we want to attach the black layers and we want to attach all the pink layers and the reason why we're doing this is because if you don't attach it and you go to make it uh, it's gonna the it's gonna rearrange things the way it wants to <laughs> not in the way it's it's designed so in this case you'll know the 2020 goes right above this and same thing for here like the letters are in, the numbers are in order okay because if you don't attach it it might do like zero zero two two which we don't want um so this way this way they are placed in the way we've designed it in two different mats okay so let's cut it out and uh, i'll show you how you put this on the mug Now, the other thing I want to show you is how we're going to work with the cap, okay? Um, I've made it pretty easy for you. You just need to upload the cap and cut it out and add score lines. Once you've cut it out, I will show you how to assemble it. You don't really need to make adjustments to this, so I would leave it as is. But let's say your mug is bigger. Um, so if you're, there's, there's like the big soup mugs. So if you want to use one of those, then you would have to take measurements and adjust it accordingly. Um, this is kind of for like a standard size mug. So, uh, use this template for that. But if you do need to make adjustments, that is here for you. And finally, I want to show you how we are going to use the card. When you upload the card, it is pretty straightforward. There's only five layers here. So what I've done um, is this is the top layer here. You'll see that there's these two cut lines. Okay, that's this black line here. But what we want to do is we want to convert this to score. So I'm going to go to line type and go to score. Now it's a dotted line. And that's what we want to see. Okay, and the reason why we want this is because otherwise it's going to cut your card in half <laughs> and that's not what we want um, the other thing i want to show you is i added this extra black layer here okay this one here and that's to go underneath the blue so uh, you can add different color if you don't want a different color you can just leave it all one color that's fine too um, but i've added that piece there so you can cut it out so it's the right size you just have to align it when you put it together now before we can make it one other thing we need to do is we'll first need to ungroup you need to attach the score line to the cut um, because if you don't attach it the machine's not going to know which layer to score okay so this is telling the machine okay score on this blue layer and cut it out and same thing with the yellow layer score on the yellow layer and cut it out <laughs> otherwise it's just not gonna score it doesn't know what to score <laughs> um yeah so i think we're ready to cut this out as well we've got three different colors we've got the blue layer the yellow layer and the black uh feel free to make adjustments to that based on the colors that you'll be using but that is ready to go all right i will see you in a minute when we when we assemble all of this Hey guys, so I've got my mug ready to go here. This is a Dollar Tree mug. Um, I actually, <laughs> not crazy about it because it's not as smooth uh, as the mug I'm usually used to, which is the Corel mugs that I use, but it was a buck, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Now I've gone ahead and weeded my, um, my black vinyl design here. Okay, it was kind of hard to, uh, to weed, so um, I've gone ahead and done that, done that to, to save us some time here and then I've got my 2020 now I did cut a little too strong here so it looks like it's gonna, it's gonna pop out so we're gonna be very careful with that when we weed it okay um, so the next step is to get this on the transfer paper so I'm using Cricut transfer paper you can also use painters tape or you can use uh, contact paper from Dollar Tree you'll find this in the kitchen shelf liner area 
I'm going to go ahead and just use my Cricut transfer tape for this project. And we really don't need a lot here. These are both very, very small. So I'm going to do about two inches for each. I'm going to show you guys how to reverse weed, okay? So how we do this is we get this on here. And this is actually really good because of the fact that I accidentally cut out too much here. So I'm going to show you guys how we're going to reverse weed, the, weed this. And you're going to flip this around and you're going to weed from the back. Let's get that on our mug. Now what I'm going to do is because we have a curved surface here, I'm going to cut some lines into it, okay? That should be good. That'll help when we're wrapping it around. So let's get that on the mug. I'm going to start... Let's do this. So you want to start on one side and push it down as you lay down the vinyl with the transfer tape. Okay, this will help with the bubbles. And then we just pull off the transfer tape. And if you are using this, it is hand wash only, so do not put this in the dishwasher because the vinyl will not hold up against that. Uh, and you should not be putting this in the microwave for two reasons. One, because it's shiny metallic, and two, because it's permanent vinyl. <laughs> so don't put this in the microwave either. Okay? All right, let's set that aside. Next, we've got our cap here. Okay, so this is just cut out from the Cricut. And uh, this I've scored down the line here. So if you've scored that, you can start folding these tabs over. And this will make the circle part of our cap. Okay. I've also got these brads. These are, um, we're going to just use one of them to go in the middle of the hat. And finally, I've got I've got some embroidery thread here. Okay, and this is for our tassel. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make our tassel first. Okay, so to make our tassel, I'm going to do three fingers wide. I'm going to take this and wrap around my finger. I'm going to be doing it 15 times. I'm going to take another piece. I'm going to slide it underneath. and tie a really good tight knot. And then we're going to take another piece and before we start wrapping it, we are going to make a loop like this. And then we're going to take our embroidery thread and start wrapping it around. And give that a snip. And now we should have two loose ends. This is our starting end. And this is our end that we just snipped. And we should have a loop. And we're going to take the end we just snipped and put that in the loop. And then we're going to pull both ends. And that ties a knot underneath all of our 
our winding. Now we can snip both ends. Awesome. And we're going to pinch the bottom here. And there we are. Then I'm going to tie a top loop. And that's our tassel. Now we're going to measure with our cup. I'm just going to take a pencil or a pen and draw my circle. Now that is my guide for where I'm going to glue my hat down. Okay. Now using this, you can kind of eyeball where the center is. And I'm going through the back just to get the little hole. There we go. I'm going to flip it over and put the bread through that hole that I just made. Like so. Fold the two sides over. And now I'm going to glue down my flaps. Now, I'm leaving a gap, and the reason why is because that's where the handle is going to go. So as you can see here, that's where that handle is. Okay, that way my hat's actually going to sit in my mug properly. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. There's our cap. I've got the excess here. I'm going to snip that off. I'm going to put my tassel on. And we've got our grad cap. Yay! And we can add that in a mug. They look pretty good. We've got our gift, we've got our card, and you can easily put some goodies in the mug here. <laughs> so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you do that as well. And I will see you next time, guys. Thanks a lot. Goodbye.